during prayer, we've got to give our full attention towards God Almighty. So in the world of work, education, school, out in public, it's, it's, a, mixed, it's a mixed gathering. But when it comes to prayer, hence why the segregation to keep your full attention towards God Almighty. My next request is, can we get a picture outside the mosque? And can I post it on Instagram? And then we'll go inside the mosque. This is the third time we're doing it. So last year we saw a lot of enthusiasm uh, from those that took part in this. And there was a lot of learning that we had as well, surprisingly. This time uh, we kept on saying to Surrey Police that we're gonna do bigger and better. And here we are, we are we've got over 120 members who are fasting today. By doing stuff like this, allowing people into our safe spaces, allowing people an insight into our lives, we're able to work more closely together as a society, remove misconceptions, remove hate. It's not about the food, it's not about the drink. Yes, that is what fasting is about, but actually it's about taking time. It's about thinking of others, not yourself. Back in 2021, we um, had the idea in the inclusion team in Surrey Police to come up with the Fasting Collective, a way of really kind of speaking to Islamic communities, giving people the opportunity to observe a fast for the day in an authentic way. Events like this are the, the foundation of policing in the United Kingdom. Um, this event has really kick-started our desire to make sure that we create more informal spaces where the community can see the officers beneath the uniform. It's been a real exercise of discipline, first of all, and of sacrifice and of realising what it means to have something in abundance all the time and then to be deprived of that. And my tip for anyone who's contemplating becoming involved next year is to make sure you do, because it's a formidable prospect to have to fast, but you learn an enormous amount from it and you'll learn a great deal from the people you meet.